Hey Pisces, welcome to the Grace of Thrones. If this is your first time, if this is not welcome back, I do appreciate your support. So I'm going to be doing a double check-in for you at this time, all right? Um, so stick around. If anything resonates, do show support by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, all that good stuff, commenting below. And um, yeah, I'm going to also post some oracles to see what's going on around you in my city. Messages for Pisces. Okay, so some of you guys I see here recently, guys, some of you guys returning for some type of travel. Maybe you travel for the holidays or there's something that um for some of you guys you, you dealt with in your recent past, some type of restriction or something where it's bad timing where you probably lost momentum with something. Um ooh, yeah, I got the chills. Yeah, um, especially when it comes to communication and like um, in your mental state, like something mentally. So you guys were losing momentum or, or, or um, you could have felt like things were out of control or things were just too fast um, of a pace. Some of you guys dealt with some type of theft recently on your past here. Um, what's the type of opposition, all right? Uh, Sagittarius could be significant. Some of you, you, you could have sat in your chart. Uh, so right now, what I see here, Pisces energy, your energy is showing all the way up. So your third eye chakra could be very significant where you're seeing a lot of things. Um, there's something that you really want to manifest. So number 18 could be significant, something that you're wishing for. All right. Um, there could be, like, your intuition is leading you somewhere, but then you could be battling with illusions. But, like, maybe when it comes to your dreams, things are a little too vague. Like, there could be a lot of vagueness where you don't really know, how, like, you can't really pinpoint something. And that could be causing some type of instability. Right now, you guys could be facing some type of deception, anxiety, fear, or maybe even misconception about things. Subconsciously, so there's something... There's some type of insecurity of um, some type of past condition effects that's affecting your present behavior. Um, but know that things are not what they seem, all right? So when it comes to manifesting your desires, it's brave to want something. And your angels are asking you to be very brave. Make a wish and let it out into the universe, knowing it will come back to you in divine timing. Write down a wish and set it out where the wind can carry it away from you. As it flies away, you will know your angels have it now. Your outcome uh, is the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is on your side, my dear. Some of you guys could feel like, damn, like, I just need that lucky break. Well, it's coming, all right? Um, you know, um, especially when it comes to your goals and ambitions, all right? There's a lot of good luck um, in your destiny, all right? Uh, some of you guys are, you know, you're going to take that chance and it's going to work out in your favor. Like karma's on your side. This could be dealing with a soulmate, all right? Or, you know, but there is, this is a cycle of your life where fate and fortune is really allowing you to have things, um, you know, go in your favor. But there's some type of gambling, right, where you need to be mindful of. Remember, you cannot step into the same river twice. So I'm like, you're here, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Can't put the blame on you. All right. Yes. There's a mystery here. So some of you guys could be a mystery or coming off as mysterious to others. But your intuition, you know what's up. You need to really trust yourself at this time. You need to really trust yourself. All right, some of you guys could be getting spiritual insight. Um, and it's helping you to um, balance your emotional stability. All right, some of you guys are like, you know, learning even divination or esoteric wisdom. Um, but there's things yet to be revealed to you. Your spirit guides will um, allow you as you discover this truth. All right, so yeah, whatever happened in your recent past, very want to know, want you to know that you're loyal, you're dedicated, and honorable, and you're kind. But it's time for you to buckle down and get some things done, honoring your commitments. All right, there is a guardian angel that is um, guiding you and protecting you at this time. All right. I'm hearing sirens, emotional, romantic. Some of you guys are falling in love all over again. No, that's it's like falling in love all over. 
I forgot how it go, but falling in love with you. But falling in love again. I said to my falling in love all over again. I forgot the freaking song was like a classic. Alright, um, so some of you guys are falling in love. I mean, this is where like you could be struggling with some of your intuition or whatever, but I see a wedding proposal uh, for some of you guys. There's a need to balance your emotions. Um, there will be an invite. Some of you guys being invited maybe to a wedding or some type of social event where you will meet someone very romantic. Okay? Try not to like, you know, get blindsided. <laughs> All right. Oh, six of cups, six of water. So memories from your history of childhood. You guys are thinking a lot about things from your, you know, your childhood. There could have been issues regarding, um, for some of you guys regarding children. Um, and some of you guys are just like really romanticizing the past this time, so a bit of nostalgia. But um, yeah, just remember to stay positive, all right? There's a possible resolution to any conflict you're dealing with. Bring forgiveness into it. And there is also a relationship that is coming um, coming together where, you, where you're going to be able to grow closer. Also, I feel like you guys are really healing your masculine and feminine energy, your yin and yang, which is allowing you to come closer with yourself and close with those who are actually like, you know, meant to be in your energy field this time. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so, oh my God, I gotta cry the back. All right, so butterflies and gloom. So I feel like this, this was a transformation, but it wasn't the, the happiest one some of you guys had to deal with. But after sadness, know that happiness and hope returns. All right, the number 22 can be significant to you. Believe you are building the life you want. Your angels are in direct communication with you. This number is pow a powerful message that your life is being created with their divine assistance. All right, the number 22. You are in a space of high vibrational energy right now. So repeat this mantra, I believe in myself as I grow. So as you grow, believe in yourself. All right, some of you guys are literally... Like the golden phoenix, something that you thought was finished is bursting back into life. And number 12. Support. So you have support. When you take the next step, know that you are not alone. And today I am respectful. Today I will acknowledge other people's thoughts and feelings as well as my own. So respect is key. And today I will see the possibilities Today, anything is possible. My heart is open to any and all possibilities. All right? So, peace, prosperity, possession to you. If anything resonated, don't forget to support your girl. Okay? I like, share, and subscribe, and follow, and comment, all that good stuff. I appreciate you. Be great, you guys, and I'll see you soon. I'll